I know some biddies in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team, cause we getting patties over here. All right, today's video. She will come back, slowly, okay? I don't know what this is. Actually I do, this is her. This is her coming back slowly, all right? Don't expect her to just be like, hey, I'm back. How you doing? Did you miss me? No, it's not how it's gonna work. But Misty, I don't know. I just feel like she should just like realize that she done messed up, that she done lost something so great and so amazing. She gonna go out in the streets and she's just gonna knock on my door and be like, Whoosh, I'm back. That would be amazing, bro. He really would, okay? But that's typically not how it works. All right, so don't be expecting the most to happen, but look out for the signs. Okay, a lot of you guys you give up hope that she's ever gonna come back. But I always tell you, don't be pressed and be stressed and worrying and, and praying that she comes back because you know this is the one. That's where you go wrong. And that's where you fail. But when you don't see immediate results, because we're used to just instantaneous right now, now or never mindset, and that's just not how female nature works. They gonna slowly creep back into your life. They gonna be peeking over like, okay, okay, you focused on him, okay. What's he got going on? Is he really focused on him? Or is he faking focusing on him? Is he beta? Or is he Alpha Andy? Like the Alpha that I met. That's what she thinking, man. She wants you to be the original you, but better. 2.0. Actually, she might not want you to be that. She probably doesn't. She probably doesn't want you to be that because then she knows she messed up and it's gonna be stressful for her to try to get back into your life. Because if she's trying to get back into your life and you're this better upgraded version, you might not want her back. She knows that. Deep down, she knows. But she's gonna make little advances. You know, like maybe she starts checking your social media again. Not from her burner account. Okay, her, her actual main Instagram. Or, you know, she unblocks you or whatever it is, you know, that she wasn't doing originally on social media. She's now doing stuff to kind of get your attention. Like, hey, okay, I'm kind of inviting you back into my life. Hoping, right, that you make the move first. She's trying to bait you. Cheers. Well, maybe if he sees that, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm wearing this scantily clad outfit and going out five times a week and other guys is all on me and he sees that I'm getting so many likes and comments and thirst that he'll be one of them. He'll see I'm viewing his story, so, like, if I view his story, I don't have to, like, DM him. Because if I DM him, I'm the thirsty one. But if he just sees that I'm just kind of, like, peeking. Peekaboo. <laughs> don't fall for the trap, bro. It's another test. Are you really focused on you or are you going through who looked at your story? Oh, it's her, okay. And then you're going on her story. Then she's gonna look to see that you looked cause she looked. Another little trick. But this is just her making her slow advances back into your life. And there's gonna be many, many signs of this, all right? Eventually, yeah, she's gonna probably hit you up, bro. Let's be real. She's gonna hit you up and she's gonna be like, hey, how you been? How are things doing? Everything all right? Or she might, you know, try to show you love. Like, hey, I saw that you were doing this and I just want to say I'm proud of you. And oh, you proud of me now? You proud of me now? You wasn't proud of me three weeks ago, a month ago, three months ago, a year ago. I was doing all of this. I was grinding, I was hustling. You was discouraging me. Matter of fact, you didn't even believe in me. Now you see me actually doing it. Now you wanna come back? Hmm, how convenient. No, not so easy, okay? Um, it's gonna happen, but you always have to keep your guard up. You gotta, you know, move with caution, especially the second time around. She already did it once, bro. She coming back, I don't know. Seems kinda sketchy to me. What you coming back for? Oh, this new version of me? What was wrong with the old me? But hey, honestly, a lot of times, Breakups can be the best thing for you because now you get to have a new perspective on life and where you're at in life and all the things that you're not getting done that you need to accomplish to be a better version of yourself, you know? So breakups, they hurt, they suck. Let's not sugarcoat it, hurts, but it's all about how you channel that energy. You can take that and be down and depressed forever or you could be like, all right, I'm gonna be sad, I'm gonna get it out of my system, it hurt, 
there's a period and season in my life. It's okay. Cry, let it out. But then you got to be like, you know what? Now I got to level up. I'm not going to let this one season define the rest of my life. Use that as fuel, as motivation to be greater. Not for her, not to get her back, but for yourself. And then to get better, better and better. They're gonna come around, they're gonna be like, oh, he's doing his thing. I want to be a part of that, it seems so lit. Even if you're not on yachts and driving super fast sports cars and stuff, even if you're not doing that, your life can still be exciting because of how passionate and fun and energetic you are. And those are the type of women you wanna invite into your life anyways. You want the women that like you for you and your vibe, not for what you can provide, Obviously, having money is a plus. Always make that a priority, okay? Family and funds and having fun. And then, boom, they gonna come. It's not hard, it's not rocket science. You just gotta do it. You gotta stop worrying about, is this working? Enjoy the journey, enjoy the process, and know what's meant for you is going to come. And it's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. You're gonna be thanking me, as you should, because I'm letting you know, man. I'm, I'm saving years of stress and trying to figure it out for you, okay? Yeah, just realize she's gonna come back around, but when she does, don't act surprised. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't act surprised. You knew this was coming. You've been doing everything right. You've been moving correctly. You've been, you know what I mean, working out. You've been working on your business. You've been going out with your friends and just enjoying your time. You haven't been blowing up her line. Hey, I'm lit. I'm doing where you at. I'm, I just thought about us. And I'm just, I'm just so sorry. And then, what? No. You put your foot down. You said enough is enough. You realize your worth. Your worth is a lot. Especially when you start taking care of yourself, you're going to start to appreciate yourself more and you're going to start to treat yourself even better. Before, you might have just let her get away with a lot of stuff, put up with a lot of stuff because you didn't really value yourself. So now you got a different perspective on who you are as a person and what you deserve. And anything below that, it ain't cutting it. You ain't allowing it in your life. You want a bigger and better thing. So yeah, bro, she will come back, creep back slowly, look out for it, and play it smooth play it cool don't rush into it don't fall for the traps let her make aggressive moves to try to get back into your life because she needs to in order to prove that she's really about it about it she's serious she's not trying to be manipulative all right anyways that is it for today's video if you guys liked it Please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. Also down below, download Winning With Women. Copy some Cancel The Wedding Drip at canceltheweddin.com. And until next time, focus on you and the women will too. I know some biddies in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas.